crushed every single car on that block. It didn't crash, it somersaulted. Breaking news tragedy in Tribeca. A massive crane falls off a building, smashing cars and killing at least one person. Live team coverage of the investigation, the possible warning signs, and the aftermath that shut down part of Manhattan. Good afternoon. I'm Chris Raggy. And I'm Mary Calvi. The crane fell off an office building just as thousands of people were heading to work in Tribeca. CBS2 obtained this new video of the impact, the moment recorded by nearby building. And you can see the crane swing in the air and then quickly topple right down to the street. CBS News Steve Langford was the first reporter on the scene. He's been there all morning long. He joins us live with the very latest. Steve. The crane, 565 feet tall, was in the process of being lowered this morning amid concerns about wind speeds because of the snowstorm when it all came crashing down. And the crane started to move again. The disaster played out in slow motion, caught on surveillance video. Watch as the massive crane inched lower and then finally collapsed at 8.24 this morning. The height of rush hour in the midst of a winter storm. Oh, it's falling, it's falling. Oh, it's falling. oh, it broke. Oh, it didn't crash, it somersaulted. The shake was like an earthquake. From the 11th floor, it looks very bad. It bounced off two buildings and it crushed every single car on that block. The scope of the destruction can be seen in the length of the crane. It crashed down on Worth Street in Tribeca, the mangled wreck spanning two city blocks. One person was killed, identified as a 38-year-old man. Three others have been injured. At least one person transported to Bellevue Hospital in serious condition. The uh, person who was killed upon the impact and the other people were all uh, hit by fallen debris. The pictures tell the story. Look at this line of cars smashed with people temporarily trapped inside until freed by first responders. Windows blown out, debris scattered everywhere. The large cab of the crane on its side in the street. All this happening as people in lower Manhattan rushed to work. The crane was being lowered into the secure position and the construction workers were blocking off the area. Uh, the danger to people on the street was lessened, and thank God we, we didn't have more injuries and we didn't lose more people. I couldn't believe it. I mean, um, the other days I was just thinking, um, I hope it doesn't fall. And yeah, and then it happened. The so called crawler crane was in place for work at 60 Hudson Street. The work that was ongoing was to replace generators and air conditioning equipment on the roof. So we had full permits for the crane itself. But something went terribly wrong. Witnesses say the crane slowly started to sway, picking up speed as it crashed down. It clipped a nearby building and also may have caused gas leaks shutting down the area. It's a very painful day. I'm not going to minimize what's happened here. We have to figure out what happened. We have to make sure it doesn't happen again. As first responders rushed to the scene, the collapse closed down nearby streets, subway trains, and bus routes diverted, several buildings evacuated. The massive piece of construction equipment is owned by Bay Crane with offices in Long Island City and Hicksville, but operated by Galasso. The crane was inspected just yesterday by the Department of Buildings, the mayor says. All tower and crawler cranes in New York City have been ordered secured, the mayor says. The parapets of four buildings along Worth Street are in danger of collapse, according to the FDNY. Live in Lower Manhattan, Steve Langford, CBS 2 News.